driving home for Christmas. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know the words of the song. That was a cheeky little 5k and I'm gonna say cheeky little 5k now because um, somebody's just entered themselves into a half marathon. What am I thinking? So you possibly saw the film where I was running the rain. I have to now. And I have to say, even though I said I didn't like it, um, it was quite refreshing. Quite refreshing. It weren't too cold. It weren't too cold. So yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm doing a half marathon. I'm still doing the 10k for British Heart Foundation. If you can't tell, not a very attractive view. Um, <laughs> so yeah, and today, or should I say the other day, I ordered my trainers. Now the trainers that I usually order, uh, I've uh, NMB. Or carry more is what I usually order now this brand that I've ordered I've never tried out before so um, I don't usually start running in new trainers until about January so that I can run them in you're probably saying well that's a bit too soon but that's what I like to do um, so yeah so I'll be running in those trainers and I hope they're okay because being on a bit of a budget um, I can't get another pair until next year. So, um, so yeah, I hope they're okay and I, I'll, I will let you know in the new year because there's so much going on at the moment. I'm struggling, uh, trying to film, trying to edit, trying to find places to film because um, I'm decorating at the moment and uh, hubby's at home more now. So I am struggling to find places to film at the moment. Um, car coming. So, um, yeah, new trainers. Um, I think, um, I think they're now, um, what was I going to say? Trainers, weren't I? Uh, <laughs> I, um, I think they're called so Solomon, Solomon or something. I'll make, I'll make sure I get the clinic, clinic, that put my teeth in correct name if not I'll put a uh, I'll put it up on the um, screen the name of it. so exciting stuff get my new training so I'll film that when I am um, when I get home when I get them um, also right guys if you don't want to listen to this because um, it's women's problems um, if you don't want to listen to this by all means click off now I am not gonna be offended um, but ladies, my lady joggers, um, I am on that time of the month, um, and you know I don't like jogging at that time of the month. But as I said earlier, I have a half marathon, and I can hear a car come. I have a half marathon I've got to run. So, um, I've got to, um, I've got to, uh, what's the word? I've completely lost my train of thought. So yeah, I've got to try and get in all the mileage that I can. So, um, I have to run on my period, I'm afraid. Um, so, what I've done is, because I've got, I think I may have done, toxic shock syndrome thing where you can't put a tampon because it makes my pain in my stomach uh, intense um, so I have to use pads so what I've done today to try and see because I don't like it when you run the pad ruffles up 
don't like that. Um, so what I've done today is I've put a panty liner on, then I've put a nighttime pad on and pulled, made sure it's as snug as snug as can be. And um, so far, so far, touch wood, everything's, touch wood, everything's gone okay at the moment, but we shall see. Um, so yeah, ladies, um, I'm going to go on YouTube and find out some little hacks and tricks of running while you're on your period, because I'm no expert, because uh, I don't want to get to the day and you sort of like, you haven't ran on your period and you have a little accident because I don't want that to happen so uh, I want to be prepared so um, so yeah I'm going to look up some YouTubers and uh, try and vlog some more some more stuff about female runners when they're on their period I'm still going to do more about male runners and female runners because I don't want to just gender gender pacific this channel you know so I feel the love for all so alright I'm getting near my bungalow now I'm going to go home I'm going to do some meditation and look forward to working my new trainers see you later guys right guys um i'm back home i've done everything i said i was going to do um so it's arrived my uh trainers have arrived um it took two days to get here we uh got we ordered them on thursday so it took two days to get here um so yeah Let's get into it. So, when I've opened the packaging, they're still in another packaging, they're not in a box, um, they're still in another packaging. So, let's get into these ones as well. If you're wondering about the light, um, it's a light that I got from an auction. Um, and uh, I think it's pretty good. Does it light my face up well? It's not a studio light or anything like that. It's just a little lamp light. A little workers lamp light. Um, so, there we are. So, these are the trainers that I chose. Um, on first looks, I don't know. I don't know whether I like them on first looks because they're a bit beaten and worn and battered already by the looks of it. Um, I would have liked them to have been in a box, but never mind, they haven't come in a box. Um, they seem good quality. They seem very light as well, but they seem good quality, so. Um, We'll, um, we'll find out. But um, I'm just not liking the fact that they didn't come in in um in a box. They feel they feel to me like they're a little cheap. You know, I'm used to the. I don't, I don't know, maybe they'll grow on me, maybe they'll grow on me, but, um, I'll have to find out the brand, because there's not a box with these, I'll have to find out the brand, um, but, um, it says keep running on them, but there's no brand logo or anything like that on them, so, what what's this bit for? What's that bit for? To hang them up. Um 
I don't know whether they'll sustain the water when I go out in the rain. I have no idea. But they reckon they were running too. So we'll find out. I'll christen them next year. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit defeated on that one. I wish I'd done... Um, I like things in boxes. I think that's I think that's why I'm not very amused. Yeah, to me I don't know. They just don't inside seem padded enough, but I think it's because it looks this bit looks all battered and bruised and doesn't look you know, and that bit's not. The one thing I'm worried about is that bit. If that bit comes unstuck, that's one thing I'm worried about. So um, what I'll do then is I'll um, I'll do another. I'll wear them, see what they're like, and I'll do another thing, see if they grow on me. But that'll probably be in January. See you later. Hi guys. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Eleven K today. I don't want to do this. See my eyes watering. That's how cold it is. Right guys, that's my 11k completed. Um, I think that'll be my last 11k, so I've got it. I did one a couple of weeks ago that I vlogged. I did one a couple of weeks before that that I didn't vlog. So I've got about three 11ks in. Um, so next time I'm going to up the mileage to about, I'm going to try 13k um, next time, so uh, yeah, um, you're probably thinking why I've been so Christmassy, um, for me and my husband, um, it, how can I put this? I try and be into the spirit of Christmas, as spirit of Christmas as I can be, but it is just me and my husband for Christmas, and nine times out of ten I am working. However, this year I have it off, so um, I have Christmas off this year, so I'm hoping to celebrate Christmas with hubby this year. Um, the next one I do, I might put my little Christmas hat on, try and make it a little bit Christmassy for you. Um, but the reason I haven't vlogged anything Christmassy is because I really don't know what to vlog about Christmas. I am a Christmassy person, but I'm not a Christm Christmassy person. I'm more a Halloween person. I love my Halloween. However, I'm going to see, can't promise, but I'm going to see whether I can, um, on Christmas Day, uh, go and see the Christmas swim in Hunt Stanton. It's a run from the beach into the sea, swim around the sea and then run back again. Uh, all for charity, I think. So, um, I want to see that. So that will start about 10, half past 10. Um, me and my husband were thinking about going to Midnight Mass. Whether that happens, I don't know. I doubt whether I'll be able to vlog that though. Um, but yeah, um, as Christmas wise comes, I'm sorry I'm not delivering on runs and uh, charities and half marathons and just everyday Joe blogs kind of stuff. I'm still vlogging. So uh, I apologise if you wanted something a bit more Christmassy, but I do really just don't know what to vlog about Christmas because it is just me and my husband. Uh, for Christmas, so it is what it is, and I'm okay with that.
So, but I'll make sure I have a nice roast on Christmas Day and watch a film and have plenty of alcohol because uh, you got to have alcohol on Christmas, haven't you? And then January must train properly. So, so I haven't really because it's now starting to wind down a bit now. I haven't really got much else to say or vlog about. <laughs> so um, I'll try and make the I'll try and make the film, the next film as Christmassy as Christmassy as I possibly can. But and then um, all year round. So um, for New Year, I have got a special film that I have been editing all year round all year round so if you want to see that I'll pop it up near you new year so I'm getting cold I think I'm gonna go home now right. hi guys I wasn't actually gonna to film today but um, I was just going around home doing my mind of my own business and pigeon Sorry, it's my pigeon just commencing. Mind of my own business. Yes, I've been kicked out in my garden again. Another pigeon. Hello, pigeon. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. So I was going around the house doing whatever it is that I thought, yeah, I'll do today. Mind of my own business. Oh, by the way, got my Christmas hat on, got my Christmas jumper on. Trying to be a little bit more Christmassy for you. I hope you like it. Anyway, getting back to the point. Minding my own business. And uh, the postie came. I got a postcard with my address and everything on. And I'm thinking, I never get postcards with my address on. Who knows my address? Who knows me to post me what I assumed was a Christmas card? And it was a Christmas card. So I opened it up, and this is what I got. And I thought, oh, my mum would love that if she was alive. Yeah. When I looked at the back, it was from Kidney Research UK. How sweet was that? And they must have, I, I must have said something in a film, or I've, I've turned around to one of them who... Um, who was supporting me through the runs and that and uh, they must have seen it and thought her mum used to like owls I like owls I've got a tattoo of an owl on my foot in memory of my mum so uh, yeah I've got a Christmas card with owls on and I know my mum would love this um, Christmas card and inside it says, Dear Bernadette, thank you for supporting us this year from everyone at Kidney Research UK. So, again, I wasn't expecting this from Kidney Research. Again, I'm... So, um, if you are raising money for Kidney Research Day, brilliant, good on you. Um, as, as I said, I'm raising money for the British Heart Foundation now. But if you are raising money for kidney research, please do go and donate. Still go and donate some money. Even though I'm not um, raising any more money, please still go and donate to kidney research because it still is very, very dear to my heart, kidney research. And I probably will um, raise money for them again. However, next year is a completely different ball game, as I have said. I'm doing um, British Heart Foundation. It's 30 years on next year since my dad passed away of a heart attack. That's why I'm doing it. I'm not mourning his death. I'm celebrating his death. Um, I'm sure if my dad was alive, he'd support me in what I was doing. Um, I know, definitely know my mum would support me in um, what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah... So um, I'm going to do a plug now for Kidney Research and the British Heart Foundation. Please donate money to these charities because they need your support. They really do need your support. They're very good charities. And I have suffered losses to these illnesses. So we need more support. So please, like I said, 
go on to any i'm sure there'll be more people doing just giving pages on kidney research please do and go um, so, um donate some money towards them i'm doing um a just given page for british heart foundation please come along click anything and come and support my channel and my um just given page for british heart foundation so um i thank you for watching this and i'll see you again hi guys 5k today <laughs> like my hat I'm trying to get festive for you See you at the end. Alright guys, just trying to clean you up. Um you gotta see how foggy it is out here. Let me show you. Can you see guys? Cause I can't. Oh the life of a jogger. Nearly finished. Speak to you properly soon. What a lovely morning to go jogging. Look at that fog. A little bit dangerous. Uh, but I can see when cars come up. Hello. <laughs> uh, just completed the 5k. Do you like my hat? Um, I'm looking very Santry-ish today, if you can see. Don't know whether you can see there. Looking very Santry-ish. Um, I've got... Black leggings on, my um, red British Heart Found, um, Foundation top on. Excuse me, my Fitbit is going mental because for some reason, uh, for some reason, uh, my Fitbit has been updated and uh, and it starts automatically now when I run and it's corrected itself and tells me. Um, pacing and stuff and it's the correct pacing where it used to not be the correct pacing so my fitbit has been updated so if um if you like fitbit um i suggest you get fitbit because um they're really good sorry i keep trying to um pull up, pull up myself um yeah so uh if you get a fitbit um they're really good because um you can get your friends to come over to your fitbit you can do a a workers week um competition kind of thing and see how whether you can beat your friends and family and then they do a weekend one they do a daily one they do a one where you can it's virtual but you're running around um streets and stuff and that so uh yeah um fitbit is really good um however if you're a serious runner a lot of people have said the garmin watch anyway what was i talking about previous um i've completely forgotten there so yeah looking christmasy today trying to feel christmasy so uh <laughs> I've really lost my train of thought again. So, oh yeah, so um, yesterday I got a card from the um, Kidney Research to say thank you for donating. Um, as I said previously, you can still donate. I'm just not raising money for Kidney Research at the moment. As, a, as I said, I'm doing the British Heart Foundation. So... Uh, I thought I'd run around in my little Santa's hat today. I did get a few smiles in the village today, a few reactions. So uh, hopefully that sparked them to donate to my Just Given page, I hope. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to look out for cars. It's so foggy that I'm trying to look out for cars and that because there was a car coming down earlier on and uh, I can see its head. I can hear one now coming, and I can see its headlights. And uh, I managed to pull in before it kind of knocked me over. I think I'm going to have to pull in in a minute because I can hear it coming. Yeah, I'm going to pull in. So, guys, um, oh, it's a lorry. Good job I did. <laughs> so I'm going to go now, and um, I shall see you at the end. Actually, it's a tractor. So. 
maybe I lied, maybe I'm not going yet. Um, so, yes, I'm getting a lot of reaction. I get a lot of weird looks at the moment because I'm wearing my um, my Santa's hat on. But I said I'd do it. I said I'd, I said to the villagers, I'm going to get my Santa hat on. <laughs> I do. All I need, all I need is the bed and some better gloves because I don't think these go. <laughs> I don't think it's going with colour coordination at the moment. <clears throat> so, right guys, I can't believe how foggy it is. But in the world of a runner, and if I'm training to do a mar half marathon, not a marathon, half marathon, um, I've got to run in these kind of conditions. I was going to run on the treadmill today because I knew it was going to be a bit um, of some bad weather. But when I came outside to uh, put the bins out, it's Susie, bin day, um, put the bins out, um, I thought, well, hang on a minute, it's not that actually that bad. It started getting worse when I was uh, on the last little leg of my uh, moron. So, uh, yeah. Do you know what, guys? I'm really losing my train of thought just lately. I really am. It feels like I'm losing my marbles a bit. You know, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff at the moment. I don't know whether it's the season of the year or whatever. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Bye, guys. Yeah.